French energy model is unique due to the country's history and geography. With few indigenous resources, national energy independence and technological innovation are at the core of its energy policies. In this video, we'll look at the influences that have shaped France's energy model. Electricity is generated mainly from nuclear power, with a significant contribution from hydroelectricity, and more recently, wind and other renewables. We were producer of uh, fossil fuels uh, during the 20th century, uh, coal, uh, natural gas and, uh, and oil. But uh, nowadays we import uh, all the coal we, we use, all our mines, coal mines are closed. We have closed also five years ago our last uranium mines and it means that we import 97% uh, of our natural gas, 98% of our oil. So the only resources, indigenous uh, resources we have are renewables on one hand, uh, mainly hydroelectricity and biomass, and also nuclear. France's 58 nuclear plants are run by Electricité de France, or EDF. Historically, the country's energy companies have been state-run. France has lagged behind in fulfilling EU obligations to privatise the set percentage of the business. We were um, uh, on the line to say, OK, we have to open the market because it provides a lot of advantages for consumers, but we have to be sure that some key concerns are still well taken into account, especially security of supply. But under increased pressure from Brussels, things are starting to change. The liberalisation of the market uh, is an obligation coming from European directive. And of course, we will comply with, and the French electricity and natural gas market will be completely open by uh, the 1st of July 2007. Since 1945, France's policy has been to increase energy independence and self-sufficiency in electricity production. Spurred on by the 1970s oil crisis, France launched the most comprehensive national nuclear energy programme in history. The question about security of energy supply was taken very seriously following the oil shocks of the 70s, and it seems to prove today to be a very good choice. You can analyse the benefit for a country to develop nuclear energy for producing electricity mainly for the time being. Uh, you can analyse that with the same three uh, key uh, viewpoints. From the economics perspective, you can bring stability in the um, price of electricity in the long run because nuclear energy has a is very stable price in comparison with fossil fuel energy, oil and gas. You may also uh, consider that in bringing a diversity of supply, which is good for the security of supply of any country, and it brings high technology in a country. So from all these aspects, nuclear energy should be considered as a potential solution in all energy policy, in all mixes of energy that any country needs to develop. Advocates of nuclear power consider France as exemplary. Around 75% of its electricity is nuclear. They also argue that it contributes to the country's wider sustainable development goals. Nuclear has maybe some drawbacks, but it is not a CO2 emissive resource. So, uh, since uh, reduction of CO2 emission is now a global target. We do consider that it's a good choice uh, for achieving our own uh, goals. France now has one of the lowest levels of CO2 emissions per capita in the industrialised world. But do the benefits of nuclear outweigh the risks? Attempts to greenwash the nuclear industry have outraged anti-nuclear groups. They claim that nuclear power is not entirely carbon free and that the management of France's nuclear waste has been neglected. The French government and the industry tried to convince the people uh, that uh, this industry, the, the, the nuclear industry, is clean. And this argument is not, is not true. 
you directly have real consequences in uh, all the transport, all you, you, the extraction in mining, all these things have direct consequences. But the main big problem is nuclear waste. And we have tons of high level waste storage in the nuclear plant in Lag, and nobody knows what will happen with that in the coming years. La Hague is one of the largest nuclear waste sites in the world. High-level waste is stored in large interim facilities, while scientists search for a long-term waste repository. A solution still needs to be found. It is a fact that there is no high-level waste repository in operation in the world for the time being. There is a large consensus that the final solution would be, should be, a deep geological dep repository. It was not so much important to, do, to start building a repository 20 years ago. I think it's a good time for many countries to develop it now. Opponents of nuclear power, like Greenpeace, argue that the French government should offer the same amount of support for renewable technologies. The first things that the government must do to develop renewable is to be open and to have transparency of the different uh, possibility of energy. The Environment and Energy Management Agency, ADEM, plays a major role in advising ministries in charge of environment and energy policy. The general goals that fr the French uh, policy uh, wants to achieve are twofold. The Kyoto goals, uh, very shortly now, and, and the Factor 4 goal. The Factor 4 means that we want to divide by four the amount of emissions of uh, greenhouse uh, gases by 2050. Our job in uh, ADEM is to facilitate, promote, develop uh, all the renewable energy. Hydroelectric power accounts for around 15% of French electricity, but some claim that the government's support for other renewable electricity sources has been disappointing. It's uh, uh, very often said, even in France, that uh, we have some delay in the development of renewables, and it's true as far as uh, solar uh, wind energy are concerned. It's unfair to say that uh, we have some delay on other sources. For instance, uh, I have to say that when you look at uh, EU, France is still in volume uh, the first producer of renewable energies. Ambitious goals have been set to ensure that renewable electricity will play an even bigger role in France's energy future particularly through the development of its wind programs. Our uh, wind program uh, is, uh, is a small one. This year, the wind power farms uh, will both outpass 1,000 megawatt and 2,000 megawatt in, in the same year. 2005 saw the introduction of a new energy law. While still supporting the nuclear option, it also included a white certificates system to encourage energy savings and a new tariff scheme to promote the development of solar, wind, biomass and geothermal energy. The, the tariffs are financial incentives because today uh, the renewable energy is still a little bit uh, more expensive than uh, traditional uh, energy. So to, in order to help the development of uh, this new uh, renewable energy, the government uh, approves a, a special tariff uh, that is calculated according to the, to the cost today of producing this energy and to guarantee uh, a, a, a normal level of uh, return on investment. We have objectives uh, according to the European Directive. Uh, the share of electricity produced by renewables in the uh, French system uh, should reach 21% by the year 2010, when it is uh, around 14 or 15% uh, percent, uh, nowadays. 
Energy efficiency improvements will also be needed to upgrade France's inefficient housing stock and transport systems. Transport produces 26% of all greenhouse gas emissions. The government's development programme for biofuels aims to benefit both farmers and the environment. We have a lot of uh, effort to make uh, towards heat. Uh, today a lot of heat is non-renewable uh, and we, we need to shift uh, to uh, renewable heat. And also uh, for uh, biofuels, uh, today biofuels are very small in the part of uh, what we consume for, for our cars and, and we have a quite ambitious uh, goal of going to 7% by 2010, which is again very soon, uh, and we start from less than 2%. People are investing in their buildings to change windows or equipment to uh, better the energy efficiency. People are changing cars for uh, smaller and uh, more efficient cars. So I think this whole policy is plus, of course, the, the increase of the price of energy is really uh, making things move. Proud of its technological inheritance, France seems likely to continue with its nuclear program for the foreseeable future but will also continue to diversify its energy mix. For French energy policy, it will be very important uh, to keep a nuclear option. Of course, it will be very important to diversify, to try to reduce more and more the share of fossil uh, fuels, uh, by all means. Thank you.